Hey y'all, we are at Medina Lake in Lake Hills, Texas, and we wanted to show you the campground, show you our campsite, which we actually got really, really lucky on. So I'm gonna kinda do this, I'm gonna do this whole video with my phone, just cause it'll be easier to carry around. And then me and Ryan, he's about there getting his sunglasses, are going to take a walk and show you the lake and hopefully a bunch of the deer and stuff. So, um, I'll show you our campsite. We are at campsite F28, and it's one of the only pull-through sites we saw, and it's enormous, So, um, and it's got a view of the lake. So if you come by here and you can get this site, definitely get it, it's a good one. So um, let me turn it around and show you the site, and then we'll walk you through the park and show you the lake and stuff. Over there. Um, our site had a picnic table, but it didn't have a fire ring, which I saw some of the other sites had. I think that one over there had it. Um, but ours has like this little grill thing over here. I'll show you. But, geez, let me drop this stuff. Um, so our site, like I said, it's a pull through. So you've got all this like area to yourself. It's a huge site. And then don't mind our tore up awning. We're waiting until we get to families to um, fix that. So like I said, we moved our picnic table over. It's been raining, so everything looks a little dirty. And then I'll show you the... Ryan, when you pick those up, my pocket doesn't work. So we had plenty of room for our slides, didn't have any problems, and then we truck, we uh, parked the truck back here. But we had room to park it over there if we needed to. Um, the trees aren't too low. I'll show you from over here. Um, and you've got all this space right here, and across is the woods where all the deer hang out. And over there's the lake. We haven't had anybody next to us. It's actually been really not busy. So you can see the trees aren't too low. Ours is pretty tall. We didn't have any issues getting our slides up or the hookups were in a good spot and everything. So like I said, this is F28. It's right on the corner as you're going back to the lake. So our awning's up because it's broken. We've got our rug down, which was actually a gift from a fellow RVer when they were out of stock of the colors we wanted and somebody noticed we didn't have a rug and they just gave it to us. And then we've got our zero gravity chairs from Academy. Uh, yeah. yeah, Academy, they're Magellan. They were really, really good quality. And then a little folding table from Academy too. And it was a little unlevel here. I don't know if you can see behind our trash can, we've got two blocks underneath um, on the door side. So we had to put our little stool down so that we and the dogs could get up no problem. All right, so we are going to head this way because the lake is like right there, one minute walk. Okay, so I'm gonna talk to y'all for a minute while we're walking to the lake. The lighting's probably gonna be weird because um, the sun's kind of behind me, but um, this campground has 100% been our favorite campground. It's like a fairy tale here. The amount of deer, the fact that we walked out here and I haven't seen a deer walk up to me yet is just like the first time that's happened. Um, other than the fact that it's been cold and rainy, we were here in Texas when that big cold front came through and it froze one night, which our camper was fine, but I heard some people had some issues with their water lines freezing. So um, other than like the weather, it has been beautiful here. It's been quiet. It is quite remote. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I've got the sniffles today. It is quite remote. There's not much around here. What is there? Like, there's an American Legion that we went and played a poker tournament in, which we placed first and second. You're yeah. looking at the winners. And then there's another little bar called the Four Way, and they're the only ones that have a liquor license in the county, I believe. But the other places you can, they sell beer, but you can bring your own liquor, and you just have to pay for, like, the cup that they pour it in or something. Something ridiculous. Yeah. So, so that was interesting. So I'm out of breath already. I got the sniffles. The allergies here are a little bit, a little bit rough, but um, I haven't taken any allergy medicine, so it's not too bad. Other than that, the Walmart is like 18 miles away. <laughs> there is like a little grocery store. We haven't been, we braved it onto the Walmart because we needed some other things for the dogs and because it was getting cold. Um, so uh, we braved it there. It was about a 40 minute drive and then you're around everything you need. And it's about an hour outside of San Antonio. A couple of restaurants here too. Yeah, there is. There's a La Cabana, which is like a Mexican restaurant. We had breakfast there one morning. I'm not a huge Mexican breakfast fan, but 
it was good. And then the four way had really good burgers. So definitely check that out. And this is a thousand trails campground as well. So here, we'll walk over here, show them the lake. Um, and the people here have been really nice. There are deer everywhere. They tell you not to feed the deer, not gonna lie. I may have slipped some strawberries to my friend Carl, which I'll put a video of. You'll get to see Carl. And you'll see why we named Carl if you've ever watched The, uh, the Walking Dead. My eyes are watering. So here's the lake. Y'all, I mean, this is incredible. And y'all saw like, that was a live walk to the lake and we could have got here faster, but I was walking to the, the beachy part of it. Picnic tables out here. Now this isn't sand y'all, this is rock. We in Texas. <laughs> but look how blue this water is. I don't even think the camera's doing it justice. But I mean, this is beautiful. And this is like almost anywhere you're at in the park, you're gonna be, uh, the girl said it's about a two minute walk from anywhere in the park. But um, ours wasn't even that much, I don't think. Look how clear this water is. Holy moly. I mean, that's crazy. I can't believe how clear this water is. I guess the bottom's rock, so. I mean, you can see the mountains. Oh my God, it's absolutely beautiful. And you can see, you can still kind of see like our campground right there, so we're not far. This is beautiful. I would, I mean, I can't believe how clear that is. Here is this like perch that goes out over the, goes out over everything. This is beautiful. So, if you're looking for a view and nature, if you don't mind being remote, you will absolutely love it here. Water, it's just crazy. So I'm gonna take some pictures for the gram and then we'll take you to some other places. There's one more thing I wanted to show y'all that we happen to see back here, cause there's that little rock platform we were just on. I'm just walking back here and it's a little hard to walk back here so wear your tennis shoes not flip-flops like me but my new kids rub blisters on my feet so i have to wear <laughs> flip-flops for a few days look at this really cool like fireplace i don't know what this is called if you know what this is called comment down below but how neat is this it's all like stone stuff so and I've seen a couple of these like around the park, but this is the only one I've seen on the water. So you bring some chairs out here and start a fire. Nobody told us we couldn't, but maybe ask just in case. And this will be your view. I mean, you can't beat that. Okay, so we're walking back to our campground because I uh, forgot my Apple watch. And as you can see, here are our friends. They're everywhere around here. So watch where you step because they leave little presents. Let's see if I can come over here. Um, yeah. They're coming toward us. It's never good when they're walking towards you and not away from you. So maybe we'll walk around the other way because we don't want to disturb them. They might feel cornered with all those trucks right now. And they look like they're having their breakfast. So we'll walk in the other direction. I have a feeling they were here first, so. <laughs> so I'm gonna walk back get my Apple Watch and then we're gonna walk you to a couple of the amenities and then the rest we'll have to drive to. But look, they don't even care that we're here. They're fine. So we actually didn't know this was here, but this is the like dog play area. This is um, not far from our campsite because there's the lake and stuff. So this looks nice though. Oh, it landed on me. So smaller than most, but it works. Does it have a pet waste station? It has like a trash can, but not bags. No bags. But yeah, I mean, it's not huge, but it is fenced in. If you want to let your dogs play or they don't like to potty on a leash, this is a good place to bring them. 
And this is if you pass F28 on the left, this is on the left of the same road. All right, it looks like this is the boat launch area. And I know they do offer like dry storage if you're bringing your boat. So if you live nearby and you wanna bring your boat for the week or something, I'll let you, I'll let you have it here. And here we'll walk up there and see what the boat launch looks like. Oh, this is it. There is a um, <clears throat> fish cleaning station right here. So I'm assuming there's some fishing going on in this lake and they've got a dock right here. And then here is the boat launch, which looks a little steep, honestly. Cause it's rocky down there. Like it's pretty shallow down there. So if you're bringing your boat, be careful. <laughs> it looks a little rough. Um, this is, uh, yeah, this could use some, some repairing. I'm not going to walk out there to be perfectly honest. I don't trust it. There's some stuff over there. I'm not really sure if they're doing some construction or something that used to be there or what, but yeah, I wouldn't. I think this is supposed to be in the water. Yeah, it looks know. like the lake's down. Maybe, yeah, maybe the lake's way down. If there's a drought or something going on, but but there is a place to put your boat in the water, so that's nice. Um, if I'm not mistaken, these are probably the sites that aren't full hookups. They're just electric and water. Which, sorry if this is shaky, y'all. We are walking, so this is, you know, vlog style. Um, so I think that's what these sites over here are, where you can be right on the water. So if you don't mind not having sewer, I know there is a dump station here. Um, we have three slides and a lot of stuff that goes into setting up, so that doesn't really work for us. But if you don't have all that, this would be a great option because what a view that would be. The boat launch and everything, there is a bathhouse. Um, we haven't, we don't typically come to these or use these, but I will peek in just to let you know whether or not it's clean. Um, there's some beer over there. Let's see. They're not labeled. Oh, that's men, so I'll peek in this one. Ryan, you can peek in the other one. Sorry. Whoops. But it looked pretty clean. Yeah, it looked pretty clean in ours too, but there was, uh, there was somebody in there. <laughs> She was just standing there texting because that's where I go to send text messages to. So this is what I'm talking about, y'all. You cannot walk, you know, 20 feet without just deer everywhere. There's some more back there in the back. You probably can't see them though. I mean, how far do you think I am away from these deer? Uh, 30 feet. 30 feet. They haven't even noticed me. <laughs> So yeah, they're just, they're everywhere. It's like a fairy tale here. Okay, so we drove not far. We could have walked here, but we were going to some other places. So this is the park. It looks like there's some kids' bikes out here. I guess, I don't know where they went. It's kind of creepy. Um, we saw a good amount of kids down here. So this isn't somewhere that we come and attend, but they do have a pretty decent park. Nice swing set and slide over there. And then right next to it's the activity center. So. We went up there um, because it says there's a restaurant in there. We were hungry when we first got here and hadn't been grocery shopping. And they are closed. And when I read the reviews of this place that were from months ago, they were closed too. And we got here, they kind of acted like like things. Yeah, let me not walk in that. They kind of acted like, oh, well, the pool is under construction. We're not sure. It might be up in a few days. But when I saw like reviews from months ago, the pool was closed, which it's been too cold for us to use the pool anyway. So that's not a big deal to me, but um, I did kind of feel like they were fibbing a little bit, but there is a pool and a hot tub and we'll show it to you. So this is the activity center, the outdoor space. And I think these are shuffleboard yeah. and pickleball right here. And then there's usually a restaurant inside and some other stuff, I think, but it's closed. Okay, so. So this is the um, pool area, I believe. We haven't been down here. There is like this creepy house back here. I don't know what this creepy house is. Okay, that's a nice size pool. She said there was a big hot tub too. I see it back there, we'll walk in there. 
Okay, so here's the pool. Pool closed. The pool will be closed for approximately 10 days due to renovations. It does look renovated. And that's the hot tub back there. Let's get back there. It's a nice size pool. Looks good. Still gotta find the laundry room. And I really hope it's not in that big creepy house. <laughs> We're leaving the pool and we did find the laundry mat. My left phone here too. What? <laughs> oh no, I hope somebody finds their phone. Somebody's cell phone sitting right there on the table. Yeah, good size. Oh, the price is on them. Looks like $1.50 okay. for the dryers and. I'm assuming the same for the washing machines. $1.75 for the washing machines. So, let me let you know how they work out. Okay, so we found the laundry. It looked pretty nice. I mean, the outside of the building was a little weird, but um, I mean, it's a, it's camping, so we're getting used to some of these things. Um, so we're about to drive down to the gas station. The gas station is what? It's gonna be bumpy. The gas station is what, Ryan? Like five minutes? Five minutes. Okay, so about five minutes. Most of that is getting out of the campground, to be honest. This campground is huge. So all in all, I would give this campground four and a half stars. And the only reason I take away a half a star is the pool is closed. Um, you know, some of the amenities are closed. Um, you know, like the, the whole activity center, the restaurant that's on the map, those things are closed. But if those things were open, this would be five stars. There's also, God, this lighting is awful, but it is what it is. Um, there's also propane refills here, like bulk propane, um, where you fill it up, which we're passing it right now. Um, there is, it's gated. You put in a code to get in. It's kind of off the beaten path. So um, when you're pulling up into, if you decide to come to this camp, when you're pulling up and you see the gate, before you get to the gate, there's a building on the left, the ranger house. Just pop a left and that's where you're going to check in. We got a little confused, but you'll see some of the signs. Just keep a lookout for them. Um, and then the other part of the stars that I'm taking away is the fact that, you know, there really isn't um, any, like, like stores and stuff. There's a Dollar General, a couple gas stations, the American Legion, um, which, oh, running out of battery. Um, the American Legion, which, um, is open to anyone. So if, you know, if you want to, even if you're not a vet, you can go there. Um, and then there's like a tiny grocery store, but if you need to go to Walmart or CVS or something like that, you're looking at a 40 minute drive. So that's kind of where that half a star falls off. But other than that, I mean, this place is 100% would recommend it's beautiful. You will not come here and not see deer. I mean, I can, I would put money on it. I mean, they're everywhere. And I'm not talking about you see like one or two deer run across when you're driving. I'm talking about walk up to your door and knock on it. You can't go outside without seeing deer. So if you like seeing, oh my God, these roads are bumpy. If you like seeing wildlife, like, um, you know, being out in the remote and you don't mind that, just, just be sure to prepare before you come go ahead and get your groceries or just make one good trip um, and then go check out San Antonio for a day which is what we're gonna do tomorrow and we're gonna link a video to that we're gonna go see the river walk um, and it's about an hour away so since we were here we did have something go missing and we couldn't figure out where it was at so we checked our um, God, this roads bumpy sorry we checked our security footage and we found it so we were robbed um, before anybody gets upset or anything it wasn't anything valuable wasn't anything that we can't replace but I will insert the footage right now so as you can see our dog rogue stole a jalapeno popper from us while we stepped outside waiting on the air fryer to heat up <laughs> she's straight and it was a raw jalapeno popper it had not been cooked yet 
Her stomach was upset the whole next day. And I could not figure out because I like pulled, I didn't figure it out that it was missing until when we went to make our plates for dinner and I had cut jalapenos and um, there were only seven jalapeno poppers. And I was like, but I cut these. I didn't pull these out of the freezer. I cut these. So I know there's supposed to be eight. And it drove me so crazy that I checked our security camera and she straight up bit the hand that fed her. Or I guess, <laughs> I guess the opposite. But yeah, she stole our food. So um, if you have big dogs, the counters in um, RVs are lower. So uh, put your stuff towards the back or the middle or hide it because um, if your dog's anything like mine, they're gonna steal it. So there's that.